exercise three. So we've just finished Caterpillar, where we've kind of come from the high E string all the way down, getting through the thicker strings and finishing up on the low E string. So I'm in this position here. My thumb is straight, my wrist is down, my wrist forearm is pushed forward. Now I'm going to do a reverse Caterpillar. So I'm going to come back the way I came, and again the rule is that I can only move one finger at a time. Now as I do this, this is the thing, this pinky here, this fourth finger on fret 10, needs to arch so it lets the fingers below it continue to ring out. If it's too flat, see how that, those other three fingers their notes are just muted off, they're closed off by that fourth finger. So when we're up here at the top, we're on the low E string, closest to the ceiling, and I'm going pointer, middle, ring, pinky. Then I arch the fingers and move them down one at a time. This is a real test for the wrist and the fingertips. When you think about the roll of the fingertips here, this is actually the opposite of what we were just talking about with Caterpillar, where those fingertips can mute the string above them. In this exercise, we have to get right up on the tips, so almost like these fingers are ballet dancers. They're right up on the tips, just tiptoes. Tips of the fingers. Now the muting for the strings that I'm leaving behind, see these E, A and D strings? This can be accomplished by the right hand, just kind of closing off those strings with, a, with the edge of the palm, like a karate chop. And again, not really, not really important to kind of play this fast. We want to play it nice and clean. just make sure that everything is clear and popping out okay um, what I would also do is if you're playing electric guitar this works on acoustic or electric or classical it's probably easiest on classical to be honest but with the electric guitar if I've got this kind of sound I want to play it with full-on distortion because that lets me know whether I'm actually fretting those notes nice and clearly And that is the reverse caterpillar.